कम्पिटार आविष्कार प्रथम दंडिचित क्या शेष करते प्रचलित प्रकृति प्रोग्राम दखल करें शक्तिशाली उदारता प्रदर्शन न कर शक्तिशाली
Welcome back to the Computer Awareness Learning Series by Example. In the last lesson, we have learnt about input and output devices. In this session, we will refresh the basics of hardware and then we will see some information about computer softwares briefly. Friends, before moving forward, I have a small request. Please do subscribe to the channel Examine to get latest updates from us. Okay, let's get started. First, basics of hardware. Hardware refers to the physical component of a computer. Monitor, keyboard, CPU are the three major parts of a computer. Here, CPU is the main component of a computer. CPU is divided into three major parts as we seen in the last lesson. That is control unit, arithmetic logic unit and memory unit. So what is the function of control unit? This unit controls the operations of all parts of the computer. It obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them and directs the operation of the computer. Control unit converts the user's input that is received from either keyboard or mouse or any other input device and converts them into signals and then send back to them to the ALU unit that is arithmetic logic unit. Control unit uses clock inputs to maintain the sequence of the data. This speed is the frequency of the data processing and is measured in megahertz. So let us know some basic information about arithmetic logic unit. This is the part of the CPU system that carries out arithmetic and logic operations. An ALU performs basic arithmetic. Examples of arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs logical operations like comparisons of values such as NAT, AND or OR. All information in a computer is stored in the binary form that is 0 and 1. Next we see about memory unit. The memory unit stores the data, instructions and sends the information to all other units of the computer whenever it needs. It is also known as primary memory or random access memory. All input and output are transmitted through main memory. So there are two kinds of memory as we've seen. That is one is primary memory and secondary memory. First of all, we will see what is primary memory. That is what is RAM. Primary memory selects any part of the memory when user wants to save the data in memory, but that may not be stored permanently on that location. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is external and permanent memory that is useful to store the external storage media such as DVD drives, hard disks, memory cards, memory sticks like pen drive and uh, secondary memory mostly deals with the following types of components read only memory. Read only memory is permanent memory location that offers huge types of standards to save data but it works with read only operation. No data loss happen whenever power failure occurs during the room memory working computers. ROM memory has several models such names are following. PROM, that is programmable read-only memory which can be read as many times as you want but cannot be uh, modified to data. Next is EPROM, that is erasable programmable read-only memory but it has to be passed through ultraviolet light to get erased the data. So it is not in use now. Next is EPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. Similar to the EPROM, but it uses electrical beam for erase the data. Next, we will see some basic information on what are the softwares. Software refers to the instructions that makes the computer to work. The software should be stored in the secondary memory device and loaded to the primary memory as and when needed. Broadly, we will classify softwares into two types system software and application software. The system software consists of low level programs that interact with the computer at very basic level. Examples of system software are operating system, compilers and utilities for managing computer resources 
like printer software, scanner software, etc. Some of the major operating systems used worldwide are Windows operating system, Mac operating system by Apple, and Linux OS, which is uh, free to use. The application software consists of programs that are required for use. So, system software holds down the application software here. Here, the application software is also called end user programs. Examples are like Microsoft Office Suite, emails, games. Okay, friends, thank you for watching this video. In the upcoming lessons, we will be seeing about operating system and some of the important application softwares and then Microsoft Office. We will see some important shortcut also in those lessons. But all of these lessons will be covered in the perspective of competitive examinations. So no deep uh, learning will be provided to you as you are aware of that. So deep learning can only be possible if we give hours of lessons on the same topic. But we are going to cover only the big, very basic, ultra basics of those uh, programs and softwares. So again, thank you for watching this lesson. Share the video with your friends if you like. Computers are all around us, from laptop computers to smartphones to smart watches. They're changing the way that we live our lives. But have you ever asked yourself, what exactly is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. The computer sees data as ones and zeros, but it knows how to combine them into much more complex things such as a photo, movie, website, game, and much more. Computers use a combination of hardware and software. Hardware is any physical part of the computer, which includes the internal components and the external parts like the monitor and keyboard. Software is any set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do, such as a web browser, media player, or word processor. When most people say computer, they're talking about a personal computer. This can be a desktop computer or a laptop, which has basically the same capabilities, but in a more portable package. Personal computers come in a few different styles. The most common type uses the Windows operating system. Macs or Macintosh computers feature the Mac OS operating system, while Chromebooks run on Chrome OS. Smartphones and other mobile devices mostly use the iOS or Android operating systems. We'll talk more about operating systems in a later video. Computers come in many other shapes and sizes. TVs, game consoles, and even appliances like refrigerators can have built-in computers although they may not do everything a desktop or a laptop can. There is another type of computer that plays an important role in our lives. Servers. A server sends information to other computers on a network. In fact, every time you use the internet, web servers deliver the web pages that you want to see to your computer. Servers are also used in many offices to store and share files. As you can see, there are many types of computers out there, and each one plays a part in our modern world. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life. Welcome to journey more. Program Rotulayan Kantiri Kabhasa Bebu Alikor Al Kutu Ekwam Tiyuk Bebu Alikor Al Kutu Kuchan Loa Uttak Sisti Al Kutu Diti Al Krojan Loa Program Lekam Kutu Best in Libhasa Plan Destroy Bebu Hirito Computer Diti Al Krojan Mil Computer Ditiyo Projan Mo Ditiyo Projan Mo 